Good morning, Year 3. I hope you're all safe and well. Um, welcome to your English lesson today on January the 15th, 15th of January. Let's look at our text map to help us go through this text one last time before the weekend. So, in the introduction, many people think that trolls are mean, fierce creatures, but actually that's not true. What do trolls look like? Trolls are huge. They have small beady eyes, round bulbous noses, and sharp yellow teeth. Some trolls have curved horns like a goat, and some trolls don't, and no one knows why. Where do trolls live? Trolls like to live where it's cold. They make their homes in caves near volcanoes. They live in family groups, or they live peacefully. There was one mean troll who lived under a wooden bridge, but they don't like to talk about him. What do trolls eat? Trolls like to eat fish and other seafood. They go fishing at night so no one can see them. They also collect large mushrooms and juicy roots from the forest. Most of the time they eat their food raw, but sometimes they cook it on the stones that are hot from the lava. Did you know that trolls love to sing and dance? When they sing, it sounds like lightning and thunder. And when they dance, they make so much noise that they're like an earthquake. Trolls are very quiet, private creatures, and they don't like to be seen. So if you see a large rock, it might actually be a sleeping troll. How did your retail do, ladies and gentlemen? I cannot wait to see what you can do. This is some of those videos on Reduck of you retelling this text using your text map to help you. I'd love to see it. Right, today we are going to be working on some adverbs. Now, yesterday we did adverbs where we were adding on extra information, having a different sentence starter to make it more interesting for your readers. So adding those extra facts by using also, additionally, as well. All right, today we're going to work on adverbs some more. Now, adverbs can be used at the start of a sentence to make the information engage the reader, like we said. In The Truth About Trolls, Professor Folklore has used, interestingly, surprisingly and amazingly to start some of his sentences. I bet all of you have said something about that suffix, looking at all of those words, what suffix does it have? That's right, they all have the L-Y suffix that we were looking at before the Christmas holiday. So interestingly, so with interest, a few trolls do not have any horns at all. And in that sentence, I found a whoosh comma, so let's read it again. Interestingly, whoosh, a few trolls do not have any horns at all. Surprisingly, whoosh, goats are not on the menu. Now, we haven't got a full stop there. We've got an exclamation point because it's a surprise. It's different. We weren't expecting that. So because we'd had those stories of that one mean troll with the billy goats gruff and how he was yelling at them about his bridge. So that is surprising me that he doesn't eat goats. So surprisingly, whoosh, goats are not on the menu. And then amazingly, whoosh, trolls like to have lots of fun. That is an amazing fact. Could you imagine seeing a troll singing and dancing? Right, so I have written some sentences here that I've kind of thought of in my head already from our work on adjectives and on that sentence of three to do with their meals. So let me see. Most trolls have green warty skin. We can see that in the picture of the troll over here next to my face. So most trolls have green warty skin. I bet you we could have an interesting fact that kind of links to that fact, but it goes against what we've already said. So I've chosen a different color. Am I, that's still green. Be purple. So I'm going to go interestingly, interestingly, whoosh, comma. Now what could be interesting? So if most trolls have green warty skin, some trolls could have skin that doesn't look like that at all. Interestingly, some trolls have Oh, I could say a few trolls instead. I like that I'm going to borrow from that first line. A few trolls have pink skin instead. Very simple, small sentence. Interestingly, whoosh, a few trolls have pink skin instead. It's showing you that it's most trolls have one thing, but there's actually something else that's going on. And that's an interesting fact, right? You'd expect all trolls to have green skin, but a few of them have pink. And I've made that up. I think it would be quite cool to see a pink skin troll. All right, let's look at another one. Trolls love to eat spicy chicken, roasted potatoes, and healthy broccoli. Now, I bet we could think of a surprising fact to do with what they don't eat. Surprisingly, I'm going to borrow the same structure. Surprisingly, whoosh. Now, goats are not on the menu there. I wonder, let's think of a nice pudding, a nice dessert. Hmm, 
I really like cheesecake. I don't know about you, but I love cheesecake. So I'm going to say, surprisingly, cheesecake is not on the menu. And I'm going to end in an exclamation mark because that is quite surprising. Because if it were me, cheesecake would be on my menu. I love to eat cheesecake. So surprisingly, whoosh, cheesecake is not on the menu. And I'm going to borrow their exclamation mark as well. You don't have to follow the same pattern as the text examples, but I'm going to because it's made it a little bit easier for everybody. Amazingly, trolls like to have lots of fun. All right, now I need to think. This was the beginning sentence of our did you know paragraph. So I think it's pretty obvious that they might want to have fun, but that was surprisingly that they like to sing and dance. Hmm. Well, I think it would be surprising if trolls liked to go roller skating. I think that would be amazing. Amazingly, trolls love to go roller skating. That would be amazing. And then in my paragraph, I could talk more about the roller skating trolls in my imagination. Shall we do one more example of each of them, just in case those are a little bit different? Let's do one more example of interestingly. It's another interesting thing. I'll change to the blue one. Um, interestingly, so we have to start off with something that is true for all of them. So we could say, most trolls have small, seedy eyes. That was something we talked about before. Remember our text math? Most trolls have small, beady eyes. Full stop. Interestingly, we need to talk now about something that would be the same. Interestingly, whoosh, some trolls have large, bulging eyes instead. massive eyes that would be the trolls that are a bit different from the rest of them so it's interesting interestingly whoosh, some trolls have large whoosh, bulging eyes instead all right let's do one more surprisingly maybe one that doesn't need one to start Ooh, surprisingly something that is surprising about trolls something that you wouldn't expect surprisingly most trolls are kind, peaceful creatures. Full stop. Surprisingly, whoosh, most trolls are kind, whoosh, peaceful creatures. Full stop. That is because some people believe that trolls are mean and terrifying. So I've put, and surprisingly, most trolls are kind, peaceful creatures. Full stop. I didn't think that was quite as exciting as the one that got the exclamation point and the surprise that they're not having cheesecake, my favorite food, but it still is surprising to some people that trolls are so kind and peaceful. Your challenge today is to write three sentences, one that starts with interestingly, one that starts with amazingly, and one that starts with surprisingly. I wonder what you find amazing, interesting, and surprising about trolls. Take care and enjoy your three. Bye.